Hey guys, this is Jerry Orr's Boing for Kids First. Today we're reviewing the new film All Work All Play. This film is a new documentary about what esports is, from what even does esports mean, and what people do in esports, and really how hard esports is. And for people who don't know, esports is the professional fighting or kind of, I guess you can say, strategy gaming of teams or indiv individual people on video games. So this story takes place in one of the main kind of international team fighting competitions for the video game League of Legends, and it follows mostly Cloud9. And by the way, the kind of competition, the worldwide competition, by the way, is called Intel Extreme Masters, and it is massive. I mean, huge. I mean, it covers pretty much the entire world, and the top teams of each region or country go and fight there and get the number one spot for the greatest team in the world, I guess you can say. And it follows the story also of Macau, who's kind of the head of the organization and organizes all of these huge and massive events where they fight and all of that. Kind of covers how hard it is for the families and really what esports just is and what I like about it is that it's good for all audiences non-gamers gamers somewhere in between I mean you don't have to know what video game is and you could watch this film easily they just do it so fantastically I do have to say one criticism one criticism only is that a few times the editing was a little bit all over the place I thought it could have been a little bit neater and was just kind of almost rushed in a way. However, the directing was wonderful, and I did like that they didn't try to make the story something else. They literally found the story, and they made it what it was. They didn't try to make it some standard. They didn't tweak it at all. They told the story as it was, which I thought was an excellent idea and excellently done. My favorite scene definitely has to be when the world's greatest team at the time. They didn't win yet, but they were completely undefeated. A team from South Korea that destroyed everybody. Nobody could stand in their way. Until they got a little bit cocky. And they went to the semifinals of the competition. And they got completely demolished in the game by China's newest and considered worst team, actually. So it kind of shows in real life that you can't be cocky or it'll backfire on you entirely, which I thought was an excellent message. It kind of shows that these messages that we create happen in real life. And I just thought that was really cool and very nicely done that they portrayed it as it is. They didn't hint at it. They just kind of said, yeah, it happened that way. Now, this film is definitely great for all ages, but I think 9 to 18 will understand more of kind of the almost terms and what's going on better. I also give it 4 out of 5 stars because it did a wonderful job of portraying what esports is and making it for all audience. However, I do think the editing was a little bit rushed and could have been done much better. If you would like to see this film, you can find information about where you can see it and how you can see it at esportsandcinema.com. I'm Jerry Orr, supporting for Kids First. Bye!